Okay, <clears throat> so moving along with my upgrade, um, I've had a couple of issues, but that's all right. That's to be expected. I've pretty much got everything mounted now. Um, I had a issue with the um, center of gravity <laughs> and the way of <laughs> it took me a while to figure out because I've moved as much as I can as much of the weight as I can from the front to the back I put my transmitter up the back here I put in a little um, 7812 voltage regulator because I run a 4S battery um, so that just gives me a clean um, 12 volts for the transmitter and the little extra camera I put on my camera switch. Um, so everything's nicely bolted down now. I've got, um, I've got the camera gimbal on. It's all come in. I've got the light the forward lights have now been mounted. So there's one on either side. Okay. Um, all the cabling's nice and neat. So my lights um, there and there. Uh, I've mapped them to a switch on my transmitter, so I can just turn it on and off whilst in flight to save power. I can turn the lights off. If I get disorientated I can flick the switch and at a quick glance see which way I'm pointing. I mapped this video switcher um, to the three position switch on the transmitter on the 9XR Pro so I can switch between my um, gimbal camera up the front here and this little camera that I've sneakily glued onto the bottom of the GPS post. So anyway, as I was saying, I was having some issues with the center of gravity. Um, if I put a line between the four motors, in a, across the four motors, um, this is where the center of gravity is, should be. Yeah, mine's been here, <laughs> about eight to 10 mil forward and so I started moving everything back um, still couldn't even with the battery push back as far as I can that's you know I just, I just couldn't get it any closer so the solution not so graceful but um, the solution <laughs> a couple of sinkers <laughs> I haven't fixed them properly yet but uh, yeah, I just put a couple of sinkers in um, on each leg at the back here, and now the center of gravity is perfect. It's spot on, exactly where it should be. So, yeah, okay. I added a bit of weight to the quad that's not really necessary, which is going to reduce flight times, but I don't think it's going to reduce it that much. Not with a 8,000 milliamp hour 4S with 14 inch props um, on my old on my old build on this one I was getting you know a, a good 18 minutes flight time and this is a lighter frame so I should with, with the even with the sink is added I think the weight's going to end up being about the same as the old one now and I've actually added a couple of bits that I didn't have before, like the 12 volt regulator. Um, I added the video switch. Um, I've added a relay for the lights. I put a bigger U back in. I had this little little 5 volt regulator in the in the old build, and I've put. Um, I've put one of these in the new build in this machine in this build because it's got the 
two amp switched uh, two amp switched output uh, from the transmitter because I've got the fire, the FR Sky uh, 9x uh, what is it 8xr or whatever it is receiver um, and I've set that up beyond that so as I can use all 18 all 16 channels so 8 channels are coming through S bus into the Pixhawk and the other 8 channels are mapped to the PWM pins um, so I get 9 through the 16 on there so I've mapped this one up to channel 9 and I've mapped this to channel 10 so I've got to do the tuning now I've got to, well, I'm not going to do it now because it's 1 o'clock in the morning or something <laughs> but tomorrow um, I'm going to sit down and program the Pixhawk, tune it all up, and then I'm going to have to take, then I'm going to, if it's, the weather's conditions are fine, I'm going to head out to the park and see if I can do an, do an auto tune. Oh, that should be fun. On my last build I haven't been able to get the auto tune to work yet. I keep the first time I did it the battery went flat during the auto tune and she dropped out of the sky and the second time I did it the battery went flat in the bloody transmitter and it took off across the <laughs> paddock auto tuning just drifting backwards in, with the wind and um, ran into the side of a house so that was fun so my auto tune experience has been interesting to say the least but I've got to give it a go. I really want to get this going. I'm, like I said, I'm going away in May. And um, I really want to take this with me and get some good aerial photography. It's, this is going to be quite a nice spot where I'm going on a lake on the in the mountains. Um, I should be able to get some really nice footage. Assuming I can get it all running by then. Anyway, there's my update. I will um, post another update when I get her out to the field. Alrighty, have a good one and don't forget to hit the thumbs up.